out here on site with Armstrong Excavations excavating a long pipeline which has a series of bores and a series of open trench areas Phil's in the digger there and he is looking at his screen at the moment and just double checking his dig depth is down to exactly what he wants if you can see on the bottom of his screen there he's got a little white arrow showing left or right in the middle of the screen which gives him his uh, horizontal alignment and down the bottom in the green box you'll see a, a height reference over on the right hand side which gives him a height down to his final dig so we've got that line set up at invert so the pipeline uh, sorry the line in three dimensions travels along underground at invert and then phil will notice will will just note whatever excavation below that invert line he needs so normally it's about 100 mil below invert so he'll be looking for plus 0.1 on the screen once he gets down to his final dig depth which hopefully he will in a minute and then he can um put some put some screenings in so see on the right hand side down the bottom he's got a he's got his bucket selected which is 750 which is the one he's digging with at the moment and there's also a change on the right hand side so he knows exactly what change he's up to on this project so great use case he's put the rock in he's dug it all to height and you can see the guys laying the pipe in behind there it's in if they lay in the middle of the trench then you they, they know it's it's bang on design and also the the height is correct so it's great use case when you're out here on site and you're dragging pipes around it's very difficult to uh, weld the pipes together for example these long 12 meter pipes have to be welded together pulled in a big long string when you're pulling pipe around on the ground it's very difficult to keep pegs in the ground and and not knock them out regularly um, on the screen there where Phil's working he's got he's got the the change so he knows exactly where he's up to you can report back to management or management can jump on his screen have a little look at where he's up to you can track how much you're doing a day you can work out how much there is to finish or you can even help the guys putting the pipes together to work out exactly what it is that they have left to a certain change so he's on on alignment there he's just doing his first dig and he'll get down to the final height and once he gets down to the final height he'll check in a couple of spots and without seeing the screen I reckon he'll be wanting to be plus 100 which means the invert of the pipe is where the line is so the line is the 3d line which actually travels through that trench there is at the invert level so he's got a zero on the bottom left of his screen there so he's got a zero vertical offset so when he digs down to the correct height which his teeth will get to he'll get fairly close there now he will he'll be at invert and then if he digs 100 mil lower then he'll expect to see plus 0.1 down the bottom left of his screen if he's digging 100 mil under. It's a bit tricky here because he's got rock and all sorts of stuff. As you can see there, he's scratching away. It's a big chunk of rock. But in this sort of ground, it just just makes perfect sense for the for the GPS to use GPS all the time with, um, with digging to, to grade for alignment. You just never know what you're going to come across underground. There's a nice big rock he's just pulling out now. 36 ton Komatsu just breezing through this ground but there's a few big chunks of rock that are a bit of a pain so you can see there he's dug just up to the end of this rock here he's dug about 100 mil underneath the the bedding height might be 150 mil I'm not sure I didn't ask him but he'll be digging a certain amount underneath the invert and then he'll just make sure he's got the right the right depth so just tidying up his trench now you'll see in a second he'll tidy up the top and then he'll probably heal the bottom so it's nice and solid once he's finished his dig out just getting rid of those uh, potential bits on the side that might fall in just watch him for a couple of minutes he should be online still he'll be watching that line down the bottom of his screen which has got an arrow left or right showing where he is in horizontally 
and then he'll be watching the big green bar down the bottom for vertical. So he's just looking at the screen there now to check his height. You just saw him pause there for a second. He's just getting rid of the bulk of this dirt. Make sure he's down to the right depth. And now he's just probably going to heal the bottom of that trench to make it nice and neat for the guys to lay some pipe. He's just doing his last, last dig there. He's just having a little look at the screen. I can see him. Now he's checking. Now he's going to heal that trench. And that's ready for, ready for rock. Back he goes on the next alignment. So he'll set himself up on the next dig once he's happy. Then he'll keep going from there. So great, great use case for um, GPS machine control. And this water service going into this paddock here has been potholed, but we've also got that on the file. So you can see all of his services as he goes. So, you know, just the more clues, the better. So you can see how the guys are uh, trying to keep up with the, the boys digging, which is great. You can only go as fast as the, the lead digger. And we've got no one worrying about paint, string lines, no muddy boots in the morning trying to get paint lines out. Um, very difficult to, to get a center line through the machine. The machine has to get out of the way, there's downtime, so it just, just makes perfect sense. All these guys are being better utilized elsewhere, laying the pipes or spotting for the power lines. Hope you enjoyed it.